once again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel in my previous video i explained about how to deploy a dockerized simple hello world php project to aws ecs of type farragate using github actions if you didn't go through that video i have given a video link in the description section in this video is all about deploying a dockerized php laravel application to aws ecs backed with ec2 instance using github actions I don't want to explain about Laravel here because PHP developers knows much about Laravel as it is a web framework used in PHP. So what is the difference between my previous video which I deployed a dockerized simple hello world PHP project to AWS ECS Farragut and to this one. I will let you know what is the architectural changes over here. All the stacks used in this application like Nginx, MySQL, Redis, PHP are as an image over here. Which, which is a PHP as an app server and Nginx is the web server, MySQL as a database server and Redis as a cache server. And everything will be inside the Docker containers. So it has three to four images and each will interact with each other and it will be maintained in Docker Compose file. Now we get to know the difference between my previous video and this one. In simple terms, I can say my previous video deployment as a single image container and now this one as multiple image container. And let's see how to deploy using the GitHub action in AWS ECS. I don't want to explain much about the docker or containers as containers have been gradually a widespread and widely accepted technologies. It's a unit of software that encapsulates our code with all the dependencies that, that will help to run in all the different platforms like I can able to run it in my Linux, Windows or Mac OS everywhere over there. And the requirements for this demo or for this kind of application is a docker installed in any of the system like Windows, Linux or Mac and an AWS account and Laravel installed using Composer and a GitHub account. So this is my repository in my repo like Kothic CC05, Docker, PHP, Laravel, ECS, where my, this application will be hosted over there. And I already have my code in my GitHub. Link is provided in the description section. So you can create a fresh Laravel application using Composer by using the command like Composer create project. Or if you are using Docker means it will be available in the Docker image you can make use of this docker image over here and the next step is like you need to create a docker compose file so what it will do is like it will just simplify the development process like uh, we can define all our infrastructures over here like uh, we can define our application services networks volumes everything in a single stretch or in a single file at a docker composer so you need to create a docker composer it will have uh, the process of setting up and versioning your infrastructure in my docker compose file i have the three images like app server and web server and database server. So in my app server, it will point to the Docker file, which is in root of my application. So this Docker file, what it will have is like, it will have the uh, required installation or dependencies uh, with respect to the PHP. So here, this is the Docker file and it is from the image, base image PHP 8.05 FTM alpha file. And it has all the record in, uh, installation and dependencies with respect to PHP. And next one is like, web server build one is like docker file nginx so this 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 file also will be available in my root of my application and it will have all the files or all the uh, codes with respect to the nginx server like what are the configuration file we need to copy and this those kind of stuff will be there and here we can pass our environment variables and you can mention like when to restart or what is the port number we need to give and you can mention the volumes and all and one thing you need to see over here is like depends on my web server will depends upon my app server over here. Once, uh, only when my app server gets started, my web server has to start over here. And here is my DB server, database server. So database server, I have used directly the image from the Docker up, like MySQL 5.7.22 I have used over here. So here I am using three services like app, web server and database server. And for app and web server, I created Docker file and I have my own uh, the uh, installation and uh, record dependencies over there. Now let's see what we have to do. The next process is like we need to prepare the image and we need to push it over there. So how it can be done is like with the help of GitHub Actions. So I have already have the, my deployment uh, file over here like the workflow file, deploy.yaml file. And this file is similar to the previous uh, video file. Like it doesn't have much anything over here. We just, we need to log configure AWS credentials and with the help of access key and secret key which is stored in your secrets. Only you can store your secrets if it is a private repository. Otherwise, don't have your secrets in your public repository. And you can, uh, and this line will log into your ECR and it will build, tag and push. So in my previous uh, application, we just used Docker build. But here, 
all our images will be there in docker compose so i have used docker compose build and i tagged all the image with the uh, image i have created a repository or created in the ecr so you can able to see these are the repositories like uh, larval app and uh, larval nginx is a repository i have created in the ecr elastic container repository and i have tagged it over here and just put it over there that's it and the rest of the steps are similar to my previous video like uh, the task definition getting a task definition and updating a task definition with the latest image and updating the ecs service and cluster now let's see what are the steps will be there after creating a repository S similar to the previous uh, example like we need to create a cluster but here if we are creating a cluster in the sense like we are not supposed to create a cluster with networking here we need to create a cluster with ec2 Linux plus networking because we will be deploying with ec2 backend instance here this is a step we need to create and you can mention your cluster name and uh, you need to mention like what is the instance type like on spot or on demand instance and the instance type and number of instance you, you need to be there like one maybe one if starting from one you can have at many at that depends upon your auto scaling and the ebs ebs uh, volume root volume size over here and here you can mention the vpc if it is a default vpc or existing vpc you can mention it or you can create new vpc from here and the subnet uh, properties you can mention it over here and then you can create the cluster in my example i have already created a cluster and it is there in my list this is my cluster and it has the service is running a task is running a one country instance i created for example and then next you need to create a task definition so task definition is nothing but it's a configuration file so it simply you need to mention like okay this is the image i need to create and this are the image you need to mention so all my uh, task definition for this example is test task but anyhow i will explain like how to create a task definition in this task definition again we need to choose of type ec2 suppose if you create a cluster with of type ecs ec2 and here you create a task definition of forget means it will create but if you are running the task it won't get run and it will throw an error so i am going with ec2 the next step you need to have the task definition name and the task role like im role that you are giving the task execution role what are the kinds of role you are giving the network mode default will be like bridge you need to give a uh, task execution role and if you are going with ec2 type of ecs you do, this is an option one you don't need to worry about the task memory and cpu and this is the place we need to add your container you need to add the container for example i am adding the container of app for example i am just copying this uri and giving it over here the container name is app and the image giving and the memory limits i'm just giving 128 and one thing you need to mention over here is like logging the logging functionality because if you are getting error means you need to know where to capture this log in the cloudwatch log you need to enable it just adding it over here and adding another container like i want to add my nginx server so i'm just copying this uh, uri of nginx i'm just giving it over here the name is nginx and here you need to give the limit 128 and this is my web server right i need to give the port from which port it is opening container port and host port if you are specific means you can give 8080 or 8181 something but i don't want to keep my port to be a traffic one so i kept as a dynamic port allocation so i didn't give anything and similarly we need to give the logging over here and one thing is like my web server it depends upon the app server right so there should be some communication we need to give it or it communication should happen over here or otherwise i can term it as like my app server should run then only my uh, web server should uh, execute it uh, or should get started so where is that uh, dependency ordering you need to give here only so this is my app server should start then only my web server should get started over here and also in the links you need to give it over here here if you give app means so these two containers can communicate with each other suppose if you are going with ecs with the faraget means this kind of functionality will not be there because the, the network type bridge will not be available in ecs with faraget so for this purpose only i have given gone for ecs with ec2 backed instance because i want to communicate my container from one image to another image so this is the place and this is the type of uh, faraget type i have chosen over here so by this way you can create the task definition and i have already created my task definition you can able to see it over here the test task right you can go it over here and this is my task definition and the task definition name and the role everything i have given and see here this is my app and nginx and nginx as a link of app and i have given the container port everything i have added so just given the task definition and the next step is like we need to create a service so how to create a service is like you just go to your container name sorry cluster name and you need to create a service or configure service you can just create a service over here 
creating a service is simple as much as so again you need to give the forget type like forget or ec2 you can just give ec2 and you can give the task definition name what is the task definition name you are given for example if i given forget and I, if i given the task definition as test task means it will throw an error because it says like the test task is created with the ec2 launch type so you need to give ec2 over here and just a service name you need to give like for example i can give test and the number of tasks should be run like one or more than one how many tasks it should get run and this de deployment type i have given rolling type or blue green deployment depends upon deployment type and the next step you need to mention about your load balancer and the vpc and all so here you need to mention about the load balancer if you want to have to uh, redirect to the incoming traffic and all you can specify the load balancer over here and the next step you can mention about the scaling like how it should behave like auto scaling of your task we can set the minimum decide or maximum number of tasks you can mention over here and just create the task or create the service for, for our example i have already created a service with the load balancer if you go over here here you can able to see the load balancing setup everything over here and one of my task is running and you can able to see my application is executing uh, uh, in the ec2 instance so this is my laravel application which is all uh, existing over here already hosted over here laravel application and for testing purpose i have already created the root and you can able to see my root over here suppose the additional root i have given is like uh, test and it is executing over here and for the ci cd pipeline so suppose if you want to uh, check in the code to the master branch means uh, it should automatically get executed right that's what i have added the uh, deployment file or workflow file over here and it has the uh, lines of push branches so if you have make any changes in your master branch means it will get automatically triggered and it will uh, build this uh, image and it will push the image to the ecr and then it will download the task definition changes the image in the task definition file task definition json file and then it will deploy the uh, deploy to the task definition file by updating a service and cluster that's it so this is an example of uh, uh, deploying our laravel uh, dockerized laravel application with the github action so see, here you can able to see this are the uh, two commits i have made and it will get automatically triggered and uh, the, it was got build got succeeded and it pushed it over there so this is uh, kind of uh, automatic deployment of laravelized application and uh, this is the architecture which i have used like vpc uh, i have my container it, the vpc will be placed in the ec2 instance i have the load balancer and the internet gateway so internet gateway means it will talk from the outside of the internet to my load balancer again it will talk to my ec2 instance and it will serve the application to the outside of the world so this is basically a simplified form of deploying a laravel application and that might be question yeah hey, why we can't uh, there, there will not be other ways to deploy our application uh, in the cloud especially in aws yes we can deploy the same kind of application in the ec2 instance but it requires a lot of manual intervention like after launching the ec2 instance you need to uh, you need to launch a stack of nginx and you need to install the php you need to install the laravel and you need to install the nginx server and in the nginx server you need to do the uh, virtual host configure the virtual host and modifying that virtual host and there's a lot of intervention and you need to uh, take care of everything but here it's not about it everything we have in our code and it simply start create the image and we are just pushing the image and it will get automatically started and if you are auto scaling means it will get uh, create the instance automatically you don't need to worry anything so this is a simple and easy and uh, get a way of deploying a laravel appli uh, php application in the aws ecs and uh, Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any doubts, you can just add it in the description uh, or you can just reach out to me. That's it. Thank you.